Hello, hello, Tatum here. Welcome to my Candy Crusher workouts. It's day five of my four week challenge to keep you moving. This 30 minute workout uses light dumbbells to do several standing ab exercises. We'll move from standing to floor for bonus cardio and to help keep us feeling young. Tighten your tummy with this no crunch workout. Options for all levels. Grab a set of dumbbells, click play, follow me, and let's get to it. All right, hello, hello, welcome. It's day five of my Candy Crusher workouts and I'm super excited about this workout today because it is cardio and abs. So a lot of core strength, a lot of standing and moving. We'll be down at the ground and back up, which I always love because I think it keeps us young. So for today, I have eight pounds for reference, just eight pounds and a 15 pound dumbbell. So something light, you're talking five, eight, tens, 12, 15s, that's probably about it. Some of you will be able to chop with 20s, but I want you to be careful. Always start light, build up through that because you gotta be able to brace and stabilize through the core in order to do a lot of these twisting movements. We're gonna get started with quick warm up here at the floor with a little cat cow. And then we're gonna move on into a little um, short Tabata, not high intensity Tabata, something low just to warm up. And then we'll get moving through our workout today. So let's go ahead and start with cat cow, toes down. I just want you to round that back, floss that spine for me just a bit as we will be twisting and moving. Dump that belly, look up, get a little stretch. Good, here we go. Round that back out, reach those shoulder blades towards the ceiling, really push, drop that head and chin. Tops of the feet to the floor, look up, dump your belly. Awesome, let's do it again. Round it out with each one, maybe reach a little bit further. There you go, tops of the feet to the floor, look up, dump your belly. Last one, we're up, reaching, reaching, reaching. Maybe we push back, because that feels good, it always feels good to me. Tops of the feet to the floor, dump your belly, look up. All right, nice work. From there, let's just rotate as we are gonna do plank rotations later from a kneeling position. Just open up through the core here, back and forth. Nice work. Breathe through it. There you go, just rotate. Again, we're gonna twist, we're gonna cross the body, we're gonna chop, so let's warm up here through the back as well. Let's bring it up, arms out wide, my favorite warm up, windmill. Let's cross over and up, good. Love a stretch in the hamstrings, but also a little warm up through the core here as we twist and turn. That's it, good. This does have a lot of twisting, so if you're not your doctor has told you not to do these sort of things. Please don't do them. Um, other than that, it's a low impact workout. There is no jumping, but your heart rate is going to be up. Good, reach, nice work. Let's go ahead, come down, round out that back one more time here. Look up, push out into tabletop, nice and flat. Last one, round out, maybe knees, uh, nose to knees chest to thighs, and then reach out, come all the way up. All right, we're gonna get started here with uh, just a couple rounds of these two exercises, just to kind of uh, also get a little bit more of activation in the core. So let's start at that high plank. I just want you to reach back, touch that knee, come out to high plank, back to knee. That's all we're doing, just pushing back. I want you to draw the belly button in towards your spine. I want you to squeeze the thighs and the glutes, just like you do when we practice our planks. Three, two, and one, good. Next one we're gonna go into is a rotation here, a little plank rotation. You can put a knee down if you need to. Here we go, three, two, and one, rotate open, or here, back to high plank, middle here, rotate open, good. Just moving us through, opening up, warming up. Whew, here we go. Remember to put that knee down. I don't want this to be too much work for you. Three, two, and one, rest. We're going back in that plank with that knee touch. Last set here, this is all we're doing, and we'll get ready. Three, two, and one, find your high plank. This time, touch those knees. If you are there and you want a little bit more of a push, then go back towards those toes. Good, when you come out here, we're still activating the core this entire way. Good, try not to drop the hips, come level to the floor. Three, two, and one, rest, good. We have that plank rotation too, just opening up. This is great for the upper body. We are gonna have, in the core, we're gonna have some weight crossing the body today. Again, so just get ready. 
Start light, maybe just using your hands and arms out in front and overhead as your weight today, and then slowly add, starting at threes, fives, working up, and time. Good job. 30 seconds rest here. Not really rest, just enough to grab water, get situated. Again, have eights and 15, and a 15 pound for reference. I have eight exercises in this large circuit. We're gonna move through it with no rest, and then I'll give you rest, 10 minutes rest, before we repeat it two more rounds, okay? So eight exercises, large circuit today. I think it's been a while since we've done that. We're gonna slam here with our dumbbell, chop down the center here, okay? So up overhead, we're gonna bring it down the center, back up, and then I want you to rotate that front leg around and chop. Come around with that front leg again and chop. This time, bring the leg behind, chop down the center, bring the leg behind, chop. Good, we're just alternating these two, bringing the leg around the front of our body to bringing the leg behind the body with that chop down. I've got my fingers interlaced around this weight. My feet are sticking to this mat. I love to do this with a dead ball. But we're gonna use our dumbbells because I know that's what most of us have at home. All right, good job. Grab your lighter set of weights. Maybe no weights at all. This is a great one to do without weights. We're gonna row, 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 row here. We're gonna come up into a modified V up and row our arms up and around. If you feel lower back pain on this, I want you to put the weights down, see if you can do it without. If that's still a problem, come up here, crunch and move those arms, okay? Up, lifting as high as you can get those shoulder blades up off the floor. There you go. Five seconds here. Three, two, and one. Keep one of those weights if you're there. Otherwise, use your arms. We're gonna step forward and we're gonna rotate over the knee. All right, I'm gonna try to hover here for some good leg strength, but if you're having trouble with balance and core, don't hurt yourself on that rotation. Kneel down, get a little bit more stability, and go from there. That's, way you, that's one way to modify. You can also just drop your weight and work there too, okay? So go ahead again. My motto is to modify where needed. That you do you and you have to find your challenge there. I'm not with you. I cannot see you. I'm with you. I'm with you in spirit, but I'm not watching you. All right, exercise four is coming up. This is our Still core, core, but very high cardio. We're gonna bend over here, hinge, and we're gonna draw, we're gonna knee drive down, pulling those arms down, okay? Drive it, drive the knee up. Don't just go for the motion, loosey-goosey here. Tighten up, bring that knee in, strike it, okay? Do it with effort, do it with purpose. There you go, good. Whew, come on, neutral spine. Keep that head out there in line with the spine, switch sides. What do I mean by that? We're not here, we're not bent, okay? I always think of an athlete, you know? You've seen them, you watch them work it out. All right, neutral spine, rigid, going with power here. Come on, that's it, let's go. Drive it in, force it in. Three, two, one, good job, all right. We're gonna chop, I'm gonna grab my lighter weight for this. We're gonna not rotate as much here, okay? We're gonna do an anti-rotation. You're gonna bring this weight overhead. My fingers are interlacing this um, around this dumbbell. And we're gonna step out and make a diagonal chop across the body without rotating. Come to the top, chop down. Up, chop. I'm stabilizing here. I'm trying not to rotate. It is tough, but you can do it. Three, two, and one, great job. All right, we have these low mountain climbers. You can go up and down with a regular mountain climber. I'm gonna go outside, knee outside those elbows. Come high, knee outside those elbows. If that's a little much today, come down, tap those feet out where you can. Come to your high plank, tap it out. And again, instead of forcing the knee up there, okay? Make a modification. And maybe that's too much and just doing that dynamic plank up, coming up to a high plank, coming down to a low plank is all you need to do for core strength today. Time, great job. All right, I'm gonna try a little heavier weight on this. We're gonna press up 
and we're gonna do an oblique crunch. Press to oblique crunch. Standing, feels good. I don't know about this weight. The heavier it is, the harder you have to brace. If you feel that bracing go, then go lighter. And I may need to just for my shoulder, which is very tired today. Woo, here we go. Oh, we got this. Three, two, and one. Halfway, other side, same thing. Here we go. Bring it down, elbow to knee. Find your balance. There you go. We talk about bracing and drawing in a lot. Know the difference. Know how to do it. Practice. Send me a message or a comment if you need a video on that or some more information. I'm gonna pull the belly button in towards the spine, but there's this brace that happens called the girdle across the transverse Adonis. We need all that going on. Both, we ran to practice both. Good job. All right, number eight, we're there. Eight is great. We're back to those knee drives. I told you, low, low impact today. We are not jumping, bouncing. We are just moving through big motions. All right, now we're gonna do this. Heart rate is gonna come up. We're gonna work that core. Strength and stability. A little bit of coordination in all of this too, right? Good. That's halfway, other side. Here we go, knock them out. Great job. Good work, keep it coming. Good. Nice and tight, nice and stable. Go with purpose here. Three, two, one. I can just go through the motion there. We got rest, a minute. I can move through the motion, just kind of whatever, you know, not even tense enough. Using those muscles, contract. All right, contract. All right, feel those muscles working. Feel how rigid you can be. Pretend somebody's getting ready to plow through you. You know, they're coming to knock you over while you're doing this, okay? Brace yourself for that. Tighten up. 33 seconds. Whew, thirsty. We're gonna rest. We're gonna go through this two more times. We're trying to get the heart rate down here, okay? Hopefully it's already down or coming down. We have 20 seconds. We have those traveling chops again. I hope that's working out for you. I love this. If you have a sand bell or a dead ball, I like to uh, slam this down. Usually, actually, I use more of a, a, a ball that bounces, kind of like a medicine ball sometimes. You guys stay away from your face and then you just keep moving. It's so fun. <laughs> oh, I got the heavier weight. I'm going to try it here. Interlace those fingers around that weight. Chop it down the center, bring it over top so that the core has to work as we rotate around. Chop, rotate, bottom heads towards the back wall. Bring that foot back behind you now. Harder, harder. Good, and forward, a little bit easier to rotate in front of our body. A little bit harder to reach back with that leg, but you can do it. Good, that's it, up over, rotate, up over. Rotate, bring it back, chop, bring it back, chop. Three, two, and one, nice work. We're row, row in our boat here. <laughs> here we go, don't go up to that V up if it hurts, do a crunch. All right, keep that back at the ground. Lower back needs to stay there. When we come down and kick those legs out, we're coming up onto the V up, we're drawing in, we're bracing really tight to protect that lower back. If you feel pain, stop. Don't do it. You can get strong abs without coming up into this V-sit, okay? Good, 10 seconds. Woo, up and around. Five, four, three, two, and one. Keep a weight. Lunge with rotation. Here we go. Press out, rotate, either with a knee hovering or knee down. I suggest a knee down if you're feeling wobbly or the core is a little, it's a little hard to brace or hold balance, okay? I don't want you tweaking a knee or a back because you were so off balance. Put the knee down and then rotate here, just like this. And bring it in close to the body so his arms don't get too tired out. 
Rotate, good. 10 seconds to go. Good. Now back to that knee drive. Repetitive one here. In here, three, two, and one. I almost changed it up, but I thought, let's not. It's good for the core. Here we go, low impact. All right, I was kind of just easing into this, having some fun like it was a dance, although you could dance. But I want you to get rigid here. Get stable, strike it. Don't just, don't just drive. It is a knee drive, but let's strike. Let's pull down hard, forcefully. Blow that air out, <sighs> contract the abs. There you go, good work. Halfway, switch, other side. You got it. Great job. We're gonna feel this one. We're doing a lot of repeats on it. You can do something else if you're tired of it. Great for that heart though too. I love it. It's low impact, cardio, core, feel the hip work. Awesome. Three, two, one. All right, standing chop, anti-rotation. So grab a lighter weight. Interlace your fingers around that weight, get good grip on here. Bring it down across the body. Back up to the center, cross. Good, ooh, I start to rotate. Remember, we're not rotating here. We're chopping it at an angle. We're squaring those hips off. Oh, it's hard. It's harder than giving into the twist. Three, two, and one. Rest. No rest, actually. <laughs> Mountain climbers. You can do dynamic plank up, up, down. We're at a forearm plank. Maybe you just tap those feet out, okay? Come high. Maybe it's just a tap out, tap out instead of a knee to elbow today. Modify it the way you want. Maybe it's just up and down the middle. And down, tap it out to the side. There's a great one. Ooh, I might use this in another workout. Down the middle, <laughs> down, out to the side, all right? Modify it to something you can do. Have fun with it. Look what, I just did that, just did that. I don't think I've ever done that before. <laughs> all right, good work. Whew. I'm gonna try this weight again. Here we go. Press it overhead. Bring that elbow and knee together. Find your balance. This is a good workout to do barefoot for all the balancing exercises. Helps your foot find the floor. Most people say the earth, that sounds much better, doesn't it? Helps build strength in that foot and ankle. Good. Keep forgetting how much this feels on my shoulder. And whether or not I want to do this or not, the core is fine. My balance seems okay. I don't know about the shoulders. Switch sides, everybody, switch sides. Same thing, here we go. A little crunch in the obliques there. Bringing that weight to the knee, knee to elbow. Good, that's it. If we're, if we're still working on balance here, put the weight down. This is such a good one to do without weight as well. Just bringing that elbow to knee, working balance. You have to get the balance and the stability before you add weight there. Three, two, and one. We're back to those knee drives. You can do this, here we go. You're gonna be happy not to see these again for a while, I assume. Good. All right, keep dropping my head. Keep it neutral with the spine so you don't feel it being pulled there, okay? Keep it neutral. Look out in front just a bit. Look at yourself in the mirror. Are you there? Good, hit, strike, come on, whoo, whoo. Should've got a pillow out, how'd you hit the pillow? <laughs> Halfway, here we go. Take your frustrations out here, whoo. Come on, you got it. Good work. This is our last one here, we'll have a break. We're gonna go into our third round. Come on, good. Keep working it. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Good work. Sip of water. Giving us a minute rest. I know that seems like a lot for some of us. If you wanna go forward, you can, but just make sure you're rested, okay? Because you're gonna lose some of that stamina, that muscle endurance in the core as we move forward. 
that's when things can happen, okay? So just make sure you're ready for that, that you're ready to go, that you feel like you can maintain that drawing and that bracing across the abs throughout the rest of this. If you know you can't, if you're already losing control, two sets, great job, move on, okay? Two sets are great. Protect yourself, okay? You can always come back and do two more later after some rest. All right, here we go, 15 seconds, starting at the top, eight exercises, quick, quick pull down, we're out of here. All right, traveling chops, traveling chops. Interlace your fingers around the weight, get a good grip. Three, two, and one. Down the middle, rotate that leg around the front of the body. Down the middle, rotate it around. Down the middle, you got it. Oops, I did three, I wanted to just do two, so I make sure I make it Pretty even with my front and back legs swinging today. Good. I'm gonna go two this time. That's it, control. And back. You got it, ooh, bringing that leg behind. Feels so weird, there you go. Foot in front, across the front of the body, behind the body. Three, two, and one. Let's row. I'm pretending I'm out on a quiet, peaceful boat here. <laughs> it doesn't feel like it. There we go. And around. Again, stay down and crunch up. And press out, keeping that lower back safe if you need to. 20 seconds of work. You got this. 15. Woohoo! For each exercise here, other than the knee drive that we'll repeat, we're chipping away. We're chipping away at this. Last round. Four, three, two, and one. Great work. Rotation, keep that weight over that knee. Press out, rotate. Good, feeling wobbly, put the knee down. Still feeling wobbly, maybe we just rotate. Lunge, keeping the weight on front for that core, and we take the rotation out to be safe. Just modify. Figure out what works for you. You'll get better at those modifications as we go. I keep meaning to do a series on it. I will. Just taking some of these exercises that need major modifications throughout them and posting them. Then you start to learn. Three, two, and one. Good. All right, knee drives it is. Here we go. 30 seconds each side. We gotta get into it. Good. Watch that neck. Keep wanting to round, getting tired. Look out, kind of out in front here at an angle. Keep that head in line with your spine. Keep a neutral spine. Good, that's it, come on, I know. Only one to go after this. Halfway switch, here we go. Drive in, good. Good. Feeling powerful here. Feeling strong. Feeling like I could kick some butt. <laughs> Not that I want to, I don't want to hurt anybody. <laughs> I think about, I never picture anybody there. I picture something that's stressing me out or worrying me and just popping it out of the place. All right, standing, chop, no rotation. Cross the body, interlace down. Yeah, I like to take something that's eating at me, maybe, and just, poof, hit it away from me. You know, just visualization there, just thinking about that. Good. Up overhead, down to the side, square it off, no rotation. Three, two, and one. Nice work. All right, those planks, ooh, plank mountain climbers, we're low to high. Step it out if you have to. Hold a plank if that's what you've got for now. Just hold your low plank or high plank. Up high, knee, outside elbow. Down low, knee, outside elbow. Up high. All right, you got it, you got it. Modify here with a step. Go to dynamic plank pose. Just hold a plank. My goodness, planks are a great way to build some good core strength. Just hold. Whew. Good, and up three. Two and one. All right, we got those obliques. I've gone this far, I'm gonna try. 
I've come this far. Here we go. Knee to elbow. Elbow to knee, however you want to look at it. Good work. Bring it down. Ooh, draw in, okay? I'm starting to forget. I'm just thinking about how heavy this is to press. So if that's you too and you're forgetting about this, find some lighter weight. If you can get back mentally to it, you're good. I'm finding it again. Good. Whew. Gonna feel this tomorrow. Halfway. Switch to the other side. All right, let's keep going. Oh, there we go. Feels a little better to switch. So far, so good. Right? <laughs> Comes on quick. There you go. Oh, how can I smile during a workout? Are you asking me that? No. <laughs> oh, I love the challenge on the body. Actually, when I get feel defeated a little bit, it makes me smile. It just reminds me we're all human. It just it is what it is. Pushes me a little further. Three, two, and one. Great work. All right, eight is great. And our last one. Here we go. I'm gonna start on the other side this time. I feel like it's always working a little bit harder than the other one. The other one gets a little bit of less love because I don't get to it right away. <laughs> so I'm switching. There you go. Strike, come on. Whatever it is, oof, hit it. Imagine it floating away. <laughs> Whatever it is, I know I'm crazy. Whatever it is, maybe it's the groceries that need to be done. Maybe it's the laundry that's not done. Whew. Good. Maybe it's work. Boom. Hit it. Whatever it is. Knock it out of here. <laughs> just for now, even. Just for now, if you can. Focus on here and now. Good. That's it. Come on. Hit. Hit. Three. Oh, yeah. Two. One. Yay. I just have three minutes on the clock for us. Yes, because I was trying to keep this about 30 minutes for us. Think I did that? All right, that felt good. We've had some tougher workouts here recently, so not that this was, any, <laughs> this was easy by any means, but just a little quicker, okay? Go out, do some other things with your day. You came in, you did it. Walk if you need more. Just find some time to move. Maybe focus on some other area of your health that needs work right now, okay? All right, I wanna breathe in. I always wanna practice this breath. It's just gonna help you, especially in finding uh, that core strength here, that stabilization, um, that contraction, okay? So let's practice. We're gonna breathe in through our nose and take our arms up overhead, kind of trying to bring the belly out through that into the diaphragm. Then we're gonna exhale <laughs> as far as you can with that great face pulling in at the navel, okay? Kind of underneath there, just pulling in tight and you'll just feel this, what I've been talking about this whole time. Here we go, in through the nose, belly out, exhale, pull it in, pull it in, pull it in tight and exhale all the way. Woo, there, now can you hold that? Hold it and breathe. Yeah, that's what you want, here we go. <laughs> Inhale, exhale. Good, inhale, exhale. Good, let's interlace those fingers, reach up overhead and back just a bit, a little back bend here, opening up the hip flexors, up through the rectus abdominis, just stretch. Oh, good work. Oh, let's grab our left wrist, reach high, wiggle high, and dip to the side here. I like to rest my head on that arm reaching and pulling at the same time. Make sure you can find your breath. If not, come out of it a bit. Don't go too far. Good, up to the top, grab your right wrist. Wiggle high, long, and dip. And breathe. Pull that arm, reach over to the side, keep those shoulders stacked. And all the way up, good job. Let's come down to the floor now. Let's cat cow just a couple times. Oh yeah, a little stiffness. Reach the shoulder blades up. We're gonna floss that spine. All right, we're really working the muscles of the back today with all that rotation and swinging. Down, 
Look up. I'm just dumping that belly, rounding those shoulder blades, working through those motions at your pace. Good. I want you to walk it out to your belly here. I want a small little cobra from your forearms. Maybe you push up a little bit. Feel that stretch up high. There we go. Do the abs there. Maybe look both directions. Back down. Give me one more. Up. And breathe. Maybe you push up even higher this time, keeping those hips down. Oh, that needed stretch. That felt good. All right, everyone. That's it. Day five is complete. Congratulations if you have made it through day one to day five. Um, if you haven't, no worries. Take your time. Uh, they stay up on YouTube so you can have a day of rest in between and then hit another one if you'd like. It'll take you maybe a little bit longer to get through it, but you'll still get through it. So you do you. All right. Okay. That's it. <laughs> I will see you again on day six. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.